Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Bramble Fox. I am using some products that are new to the shop for July. Um, so at the time of recording this video, um, I don't know the names of the sets, but no doubt you will find them on the website because they are fabulous. Um, so I'm pretty sure that the uh, title that I've used, Holiday Happy, is um, just called Holiday Happy. Uh, but the other ones, um, I don't know the names of. So you'll, they'll, they'll soon turn up in the shop. Um, so um, I'm just, um, I'm using the Simple Stories um, just beachy collection, one of my favourite collections for this year. I always have lots of beach photos, so uh, it's always ideal for me. Um, and um, I have cut out that big floral cluster from one of the pattern papers. So it's a 12 by 12 paper and I cut that big floral spray out of it. I'd done that previously and then not used it, so um, it was just sitting there waiting to be used. I also had this strip of that beautiful um, tropical type paper there on the left. Um, I've got a few strips of it, but not a whole sheet. Uh, it's the most sought after paper, I think. It's really gorgeous. It had a palm tree on it. Um, and um, I think I've used two or three sheets of it already, uh, but I have none left now, just the scraps. So that scrap is going down the left-hand side. Just love the colors. Um, and um, as you can see, I did a bit of stenciling under the big, big floral. I've used a yellow distress oxide and I've used the stencil from the August Fox Box Plus. Um, I don't know what it's called but it has, um, it's kind of like a quilted pattern. Uh, can I lay my hands on it? No. <laughs> I was going to see if it had a number but um, it might not be available to purchase separately yet anyway so it's uh, from the Fox Box Plus. Um, so yeah so I've added some stenciling over on the right hand side and I am going to add some and the cluster on the left as well. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to do with this layout, as in the split design. Where could my title sit? I wasn't too sure. And I I just went for floating around up, up in the middle of the two clusters, um, the two photos. It worked really well. Um, I was really happy with how it turned out. Initially, I was not sure about it because I didn't like the idea of it floating. But um, actually, I was really pleased with it. Um, so sometimes it pays to go outside your comfort zone. So there we go, there's me adding that lovely, lovely stencil again. Um, I have um, just stenciled uh, with the yellow ink and then I'm going over the top of it with more yellow ink, just in a lighter pressure um, to um, just dull it down a little bit. So try not to make it quite so white. Um, so uh, yeah, there we go. It's kind of created a glow under both clusters. Um, I'm now going to start adding all the little bits. Now, I'm a big fan of Bramble Fox little bits. Um, they are so lovely and easy to use. They fit in my clusters. I love to use small embellishments. I like to use big embellishments too, but I like to build them up. So I have big embellishments and smaller embellishments on top and then really tiny ones and then really tiny sequins and enamel dots, that kind of thing. So to have these little bits is a dream. Um, I, they are my favorite thing to use. I also really love the label, um, the labels too. So that's another set, um, and it has um, the yellow, the uh, blue, the turquoise, sorry, the mint, the yellow, the blue or turquoise, and the pink. Did I say that? <laughs> um, so all the same colours as the little shells. Um, they might be called summer bits or something like that. I'm, I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll see what happens when they when they come out. But um, lovely colourway, um, and then the labels match. And they have the, some of them are labels, some of them are arrows, some of them are tags, um, some of them are just standard little blocks. So I, I really like using those. Um, I've always enjoyed using phrase stickers from the you know the Simple Stories big 12 by 12 sticker sheets. I always love little phrase stickers, um, and these are basically those but in perspective form. Um, so I love it. <laughs> so the ones I've added onto this layout say beach babe, seize the day, um, fun in the sun, beach and easy breezy. Um, so um, yeah, I love it. I love that they match as well. So they match the colours of the shells and the fish. Um, yeah, just all makes it come together really well. Um, and the holiday happy was um, in the mint colour, which I love as well. And is part of those word sets too. Um, and uh, word sets and the fish and shells. So um, it all just coordinates brilliantly and goes brilliantly with this uh, paper collection that I chose to use too. I also, I just love the title, Holiday Happy. Now I've been scrapbooking for a really long time um, and uh, I don't think I've ever used um, Holiday Happy before. Uh, so that's quite refreshing, isn't it? After I've been doing it for so long, not to um, have 
not not to use a title I haven't used before because they pretty much always do. You know, they're pretty much all get regurgitated, don't they? The ones that are in the um, the sticker packs, that kind of thing. You know, they're all like, love this and um, you're so sweet and, you know, things like that. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so holiday happy, I just thought was brilliant. Um, okay, so just trying to finish off really um, by adding a few extra embellishments. The main part of my layout is all down. All my perspectives are stuck down and in place. Um, so now I'm just coming in with some extra bits and pieces. So I'm using the um, 12 by 12 sticker sheet from Simple Stories. Coming in with a few more of those phrase stickers I mentioned earlier that I love to use. So just adding those above. Now I was just, I was concerned that my big floral over on the right um, didn't have much on it, which is why I then started to add the phrase stickers. But actually I think they get lost. I also go and add this geotag too. Again, I think it gets lost in the pattern of the florals. And I should have just trusted the florals and not worried about the fact that they didn't have any embellishments over the top of them and just left them as they were. But um, you know, sometimes more is more. <laughs> Well, I should I should stop because it goes to too much sometimes. Um, but, uh, you know, I just love all the things and I just want to add everything. So I did. Um, OK, so just coming in with some Spiegel Mum Scrap sequins. Now, um, lovely set that goes really well with the colours in this collection and the perspectives. Um, just getting those all stuck in. But I just sprinkled them over all my clusters and um, just then I'm just sticking them down now with glossy accents. Um, I added some um, ephemera around my title, so it just it's just two pieces of floral ephemera um, around the title, and and then I've added uh, some fish and a starfish and some sequins, and uh, yeah, I, I really like that floating title. I'm so happy with it because it it didn't really fit properly under either of my photos, um, and then if I I felt the rest of the layout looked a bit blank if I didn't have anything up there. So um, I think it works really well. I'm really happy with, uh, with how it's looking. Um, okay, so I'm just going to finish off now with some splatters of white paint. I'm shaking directly out of the tube in order to get some larger splatters. Um, so, uh, and that's worked okay. Just have to be careful not to splatter my photos and people's faces, which I've done many a time. Um, and I think that's me done. Oh, I had a big splatter over some of the words on the perspectives I wanted to, um, that I wanted to rub off. So just doing that there. And that's it. That is me done. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this layout come together. Um, check out these beautiful products, um, that should now be in the, uh, should now be in the shop um, with names and uh, yeah enjoy those they're fabulous um, thank you so very much for joining me today that was Nikki Rowland for Bramble Fox